Hi, if you are new here, I'm Kanitia, and if you're already watching this channel, welcome back. Today we are going to watch episode 8 of anime Anahana, so let's get to it, let's go, go. Okay, let's see what's going on. Looks like she's not though, judging by the previous episode. Okay, that's very interesting. Maybe I'll cut out the opening, but I just wanted to <laughs> say that the feelings of her parents are a very interesting topic too uh, because of course as someone who doesn't have children i can't possibly understand uh, what they are feeling uh, but i can imagine that it's very hard to lose a child especially when she or he or them is so small but uh, look, it looked like mom and dad had kind of similar opinions on this so dad was super ready to move on and he and it doesn't mean he doesn't love his child. I think uh, it's it's great to try and move on with her life because you can't do anything at this point, right? You can only remember them sometimes, but it's not good to fixate on this. Um, and it looked for a second, but like the mom was a bit fixated. Uh, she, um, I think there were comments from the other members of her family that she thinks about it too much and that she still has her things, Menma's things. Uh, so, but at this moment, I think in the previous episode, it seemed a bit like um, maybe she's also salty, like she actually thinks that it is... Okay, I don't want to say that she thinks it is their, their fault, the children's, but kind of... She doesn't like what they are doing, okay? At least that. It's like coffee beans pattern, pretty cool. Maybe she's also a bit envious that they, they that they move on with their life and her daughter can't be with them. Yes, she definitely has some strong feelings about this. Jealous. She used the word jealous. Okay, so I was kind of spot on when I said that. So she's definitely on the very fixated side. Maybe she doesn't think they're guilty. But maybe she does. Okay, I don't think she thinks they're guilty. I think she... Okay, I think I can stand by the words I said. That they are moving on and her daughter can't be with them and have fun with them and live like them. She... That's why she used the word jealous. Because she's also kind of jealous of them in this way. Yeah. Beat is a good word. I, I think hate is a bit of a stronger word. I think bitter is better.
I think it's logical to think about the feelings of people who are still living, like Menma's mom. Well, I think they all are held. Like mom also said that they didn't change. How is he going to do it then? Without the permission. I don't think he's going to go and ask the mom again. <laughs> but I thought the problem is not money, but the permission. Yeah, he does have dark circles under his eyes. You can go on with little sleep, but your head will be rolling and um, yeah, it will be hard. Especially he does some manual labor too. And she is a bit jealous over how much he does for Menma because she likes him. So I guess jealousy is the theme for this episode. She decided to talk about her feelings? I was afraid for a second she was relieved about something else. <laughs> but we know she loved Menma too, as a friend. Well, I understand why she feels guilty, but it had no impact on what happened to Menma. She probably didn't even notice her reaction. I think right now they are both not in a psychological place to think about romance. Like, why would you want her to disappear? Well, if he loves her, he would want her to move forward to heaven, so to say. But I'm surprised that 
she was honest about her feelings. I didn't expect that. That's very interesting. Because it's the first time she can express them ever about him. With a toothpick? That's interesting. <laughs> but it's kind of a bit like how being here is a metaphor on getting fixated on the past. Like you're still thinking about this person, like they're still here. Hmm. I guess that's some TV series. Said TV series. Okay, I get it. Hmm. I'll have to Google it. I think there might be some. Um, kind of metaphorical connection here. And her thoughts about his mom still... Hmm. Like, it's a very important part. Maybe it reminds her also of her mom, I wonder, okay, uh, that she can't hug anymore, or maybe there's something else. You're also blaming yourself. This could be a blessing and a curse. It's easier to move on if the spirit of a dead person isn't around you. But he said it's a household of freedom. <laughs> I'm sure his dad wouldn't say anything bad. He's super sweet. He would be only supportive. He wants to walk him to school or what? These ladies are so rude. So they went to the grave? I thought he was late for work. <laughs> I think he already implied it. <laughs>
they have very pretty cemetery so clean <laughs> She said he can't see her. It's not like she chose to only uh, Jintan to see her. She tries to call him. Uh, I thought for a second Menma tried to call someone but they can't hear her voice. Ah, they are talking about the silent call. So it was probably Menma trying to call and talk, but she wasn't heard because they can see her, so they can hear her. That's maybe again her calling. So she... She's trying to make her presence known. That's Manma's brother. Maybe he also feels kind of neglected. Like she's so fixated on her that she forgets she has this child too. Yeah, I think he implies how hard it is for her mom. Definitely. Definitely neglected. So he also feels jealous, maybe. Like they love her more than him. Even now that she's dead, they still love her more. But I failed. Um, okay. Mm, he wants to return the handkerchief, but it's just an excuse, I think, to talk to her. Hmm, maybe he was counting on talking 1v1. <laughs> mm. They think he made silent calls. He has an alibi! <laughs> That's why she called you, because she wants to be seen.
I think I can understand why he's so angry. Like this wound is being brought up all the time and And his guilt is showing. I think she still tries to show her presence. Maybe she even choose a particular page. Some... Hmm. She made a new entry? So she can write. Man, that's so cute. I think she kind of succeeds in this, like a real ghost. <laughs> Actually, if she can do that, she can communicate with all of them. She tried talking face to face. She tried calling. Uh, nothing was working. So she came here to try writing. Uh, okay, that was, uh, that was a pretty interesting episode. Again, it shows that it's not just a hallucination or anything, uh, that uh, this is this single spirit that is also um, very traumatized by what is happening right now in a sense that she wants to talk to her friends, she would love to hug her mom probably, uh, she can't and uh, this is very hard for her but for some reason she can't move on further like what they have they have or something so that's also hard for her and uh, now she feels like she's had enough and she tries to uh, somehow connect to her friends and i think what she wrote in a diary is uh, Again, talking about her wish might be actually her wish for everyone to come together. What her mom actually doesn't want. In her mom's eyes, they are like, oh, oh, friends, uh, you are just using men as an excuse because you want to hang out and have fun. But how can you have fun when my daughter is dead? Like, uh, that's, um, I'm not trying to, I, I want to say that everything here is justifiable because of grief and it's not like her mom is a bad person we can understand why she feels like that uh though i think it is a bit unfair i think it does look like um she neglect neglects her son and he also mentioned that dad too i thought that dad has managed to move on uh but maybe uh, maybe i was wrong or maybe uh, he is this kind of japanese dad who doesn't pay too much attention to his children anyway so and the only person who is supposed to is mom and she isn't uh meanwhile jintan has this amazing dad uh, and his uh, mom was also very sweet and we know that his dad also has dealt with some grief in his life namely for example losing his wife right uh, i think also that thought made jin tan more understanding about like parents and parents feeling his connection to his father and at the same time we have not much episodes left uh, so we are going to have a kind of conclusion very soon uh, but that said these feelings they seem so heavy for them there's no way that the conclusion is kind of all rainbows and everything it's not like they're going to magically get over it all of them and i'm taking like mom in consideration to her family uh, so it might be kind of a bittersweet ending where Manma manages to move on and they kind of manage to move on um, but still remembering her of course but again I think that's sweet that she managed to show everyone 
that she is here she's real as a spirit um i'm really curious to see where this leads in the next episode but that would be it for today so thank you for watching uh, share your thoughts if you have any in the comments and see ya mm -hmm.